Hey guys, my name is Rushcode. Today I'll be making the game Snake in 60 minutes using JavaScript. I've never done this before, but I like coding and I, I don't know how much of this game I'm going to be able to complete. But if you guys don't know what this game is, then, well, everyone should know what this game is. But if you don't, then uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, you play as a snake and you have to eat some apples and uh, the more you eat, the longer you get. If you hit the walls, you die. If you hit yourself, you die. So I will pause the video a few times as well along the way just to show you guys what I'm doing as I'm making it. So I'm just going to get a timer up and here we go. Okay, so I managed to get the snake head to appear. <laughs> uh, that's as far as I've got so far. Um, so the next thing to do would be to figure out a way to use an array to produce the other segments of the snake. Yeah, so let's figure that out. I, I think it's, it's going to have to depend on where the actual head's uh, top left position is. All right, let's see how we go. Okay, so I managed to get the segments to come out and uh, I wanted to make them a different color from the head, so I needed to put in some kind of um, counter, like I, to just to keep track of which one, which segment we're looking at. So, like the black head would be I equal to zero, while the other two are I equal to one and two. So I'll put some numbers on them as well so you guys can see which one's which as we begin to make the snake a bit longer. So I'm going to try to make it a bit longer just to make sure everything's working and then I'll probably do the apple next. I'm not sure. I'll have to figure out the mechanics for how it's going to move as well. So yeah, Let's see how we go with that. Okay, so I finally figured out how to uh, draw all the segments and oh, I can actually make this a bit longer. Yeah, so I've managed to do the numbering and everything so you can keep track of which segments which. And I've managed to get it to move, but whenever I press up, down, left and right, the entire snake moves everywhere. So. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to um, get it to turn. Good thing is I've implemented a pause function as well, so, so I can just pause and unpause it whenever I want, which really helps a lot with debugging it. <laughs> All right, back to it. Okay, so I'm really stuck right now. I'm not sure why 
this this snake is doing what it's doing and it uh, the, the head's disappeared. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Uh, yeah, I'm just really stuck right now, guys. I just need some time to think uh, before we move on. I don't I don't think it's fair for the time to run while I'm just completely stuck on a problem here. Uh, I didn't know what I was going to run into anyway, but I really have no idea what what is even going on right now, so yeah, just give me a minute. Okay, so I have an idea. I think I know what's going on. Uh, I'm just going to change a little bit of the coding here and debug this thing. I suspect box one is drawing over the black box. I'm not sure, I can't be certain, but this might shed a bit more light on this. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right, so clearly something, something's going on here. I just need to figure out exactly what. Oh, okay, okay. I figured it out. I should be updating everything backwards from the last segment, number nine, all the way back to zero. I should not have done zero first. So if I move this to the to the end of this here, that should work, I think. Yes, okay. Okay, okay, we're back in business. All right, I'm just gonna get the timer going. <laughs> so so the next, um, the next thing that I need to do is uh, now that I've got the directions and everything moving and the so-called game mechanics are there I just need to get the apple in and maybe make some boundaries uh, I don't know we'll see we'll see what I can get done in this uh, next 29 minutes if I don't run into any more errors hopefully <laughs> fingers crossed here we go Okay, so I've made some kind of uh, game over sequence that will fire when when the when the snake actually hits itself. Uh, if I can just get it to oof. okay, yeah, something like that. Or if I just try that again. Come on. Oh. Okay, yeah. So. So I've got something going there, and I'm going to work on the apple now to see, and and maybe, yeah, I just I'll just do the apple, and maybe if time permits, I'll do the wall as well. Okay, so finally, I finally got the apple to be in the right spot. I uh, kept messing up the random number generator. I uh, didn't realize how to round it, and there were a few other things to do in there. I'm not going to get into it. It's, it's all maths, but basically, uh, yeah, I got it in the right spot. And it seems to be random every time, every time I generate a new version of this. So, so that's working, but uh, yeah, I need to get it to somehow eat the apple, at the very least. All right, let's keep going.
Okay, I think I've I've finished it. <laughs> With the uh, eleven seconds left. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, let's see what I've made. Um, so I've removed the numbers just to make it a bit cleaner, and and started with the right length of the snake and I think I've done this right it's a, it's a little bit weird um, sort of a delayed effect when it eats an apple but looks like it works uh, the only thing I didn't do was limit the wall so you can you can sort of like yeah you can you can go out you can go out you can come back in you can do whatever you want really um, but I've essentially made it, and that's what I said I was gonna do. So, yeah, there you go. And also, it um, it also does have the game over game over effect when it. Um, that's a bit weird, but uh, yeah, it does game over when it hits itself. So, at the very least, there is a way to to kill yourself, <laughs> which which is what really matters in this in this uh, game, right? So, yeah, well. That's all the time I have for this. Uh, I did this game on JavaScript using the p5.js platform. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for that. You can make an account for free and do some coding of your own. I'll put some links in the description on just some resources for JavaScript as well. And I'll provide a link for this specific game actually, so you guys can just have a play with it for yourselves. and. If you make an account, you can even mess around with the coding too. So if you guys did enjoy this, please leave a like. Uh, also, you can subscribe to the channel if you want. Go and tell your friends. I do have a few ideas on what I might make in the future. I can't promise when it will come out. Uh, yeah. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. And I'd be happy to look through it and see what might be doable on this platform. It's pretty fun because you can, it's very visual, you can draw all kinds of things in it. But in the meantime, have a good one guys, and again, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I, I guess I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Alright, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going. Bye guys.